Hey, peace, love, and light, Scorpios. Welcome to our weekly general reading. This is Q, and I am here to do your reading for you all. I will you all had a blissed weekend. I will everyone is preparing for September. It's crazy how these months are flying by. I swear to God, it's like bugs. <laughs> I'm like, dang, we a month out from our solar returns, two months for some of us, you know, um, or some of y'all, because I'm in October, I'm the end of October, October 30th is my solar return, um, so I know I have a lot of October Scorpios, I know I have a lot of November Scorpios, I will, everybody is peace, enjoyed their weekend, want to do a nice little general for us see what's coming and going out going on for all who are new welcome my name is q i am a scorpio as i just mentioned i am also Claire audience so i incorporate music to the readings right now we have deb prez the beauty within so maybe some of y'all are being admired for how beautiful you are uniquely you know just just you being you, you know, you're not trying too hard, you know, you're just naturally beautiful, naturally attractive. Maybe someone's admiring you for your intelligence, for your strength, for how strong you are, how independent you are, for being a great mom, being a great dad, for how handsome you are. You ain't even trying. You just walk in the room and you just got that just super dapper and debonair you know you just got that energy you just from across the room someone is attracted you know drawn to you i should say the beauty within so let's tap in tune in we got a card that flipped over so we have two cards that flipped over actually we have completion and then we have healing so maybe some of you guys have just completed a karmic cycle and a lot of you may be healing. I feel like maybe there's some communication that could be coming in um, in reference to maybe an ending that happened. Uh, maybe someone is recognizing the beauty that was within you all along that they may have overlooked. This could have been a karmic relationship, karmic cycle. I feel like a lot of you have come to the conclusion that a completion is necessary because you have learned a lot of the lessons that you were meant to learn in that partnership. But these are just the energies I'm picking up right now. We have Nas, no one else in the room. And what was I saying about somebody being drawn to someone from across the room? You know, so there is a level of attraction. Maybe you all have a secret admirer this is Nas and Maxwell no one else in the room <clears throat> so let's go ahead tap in now um, before we get started I would like to do my spiel eat the fish spit out the bones if it doesn't apply Scorpios let it fly by this is general like I said this is also a timeless reading so whenever you find yourself clicking on the video is exactly the divine timing that was intended for you to do so I call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit, Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother Gaia, universe, source, the divine, most high God, our creator, to shine a powerful message of love and light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala, Mama Oya, Baba Ogun, to bless me with the intuition and discernment, Mama Yemenya. I call personally upon Archangel Mikael, Archangel Gabriel, Archangel Uriel, Metatron, Raphael to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. And so it is, so mote it be, Ashe. Someone wants to get something off their chest. There's definitely a level of urgency. I feel like somebody's scattered. Somebody doesn't know how to formulate their words. I feel like someone listens to music. And I feel like someone is super so attracted to you. And it's because you are radiating some sort of confidence. You're exhibiting this self-love, which makes you more attractive. Um, someone is very passionate about you. Someone is very drawn to you, as I was saying. 
and then we have individuality. So someone loves the person that you have evolved into. You've learned to, you've actually grown, you know, because this seven and this 11 reduces to nine. So there's been some positive changes within who you are. And I feel like this is what is drawing someone to you. This is what's, you know, making someone so attracted to you. I feel like a lot of you have been working on yourselves, been healing through past relationships, trauma. Um, I feel like a lot of you are starting to just stand up for what you believe in. And you're shooting for the stars now. You're not letting anyone hold you back anymore. Um, and that completion is on the bottom of the deck still. So, yeah, you've completed a karmic cycle. I feel like that karmic cycle was definitely intended for a lot of you to learn your self-worth, self-value. Maybe some of you all lost yourselves in a relationship, which is why that individual individuality card is here because maybe it was necessary for you all to learn to stand direct to be independent to not be codependent in a partnership and to do what you desire to do you know to to find what makes you feel most passionate and most fulfilled so let's go ahead we're going to cut the deck tap into him katara no hey be good girl. Come here. Come to mama. So let's tap and tune in, Scorpios. Let's see. Let's cut the deck. Ooh. See? Look at this. It's like, let me get this energy off. Bang, bang, boogie the cards. All right. Let's try that again. I'm going to shuffle one more again. See this? Look. There's so much that wants to be said before I even cut the deck. Look at this. Synchronicity. So you may be seeing a lot of synchronicities. I know a lot of you all were mentioning in the last reading, you were commenting how you all are catching a lot of synchronicities, you know, and those are signs that you're on the right path, that you're definitely, um, look at this, that you're on the right path and you have new beginnings. So you are changing um, yourselves and there's going to be a relationship change. I feel like a lot of you have already gone through some sort of relationship change. So you've definitely gone through some sort of separation, I feel. We got individuality. So yeah, a lot of you had to go through some sort of separation change to learn how to be your own selves, to stand direct, to be independent. We have um, Kings, Queens by Tigger featuring Nas and Wale. So yeah, a lot of you had to realize that you were Kings and Queens all on your own that you didn't need someone else that's why that individuality card keeps showing up and change keeps showing up i feel like a lot of you have started to um discover just how strong how powerful you were on your own and maybe a relationship was kind of stunting your growth um and you had to learn who you were you had to learn how powerful and magical you were so we have on the bottom of the deck intuition many of you listened to your intuition which was leading you to you know to the truth and to the fact that you all were kings and queens that you could definitely stand direct you know definitely you all um found a sense of stability this four this 22 reduces to four and four deals with the heart chakra um so i feel like a lot of you had to heal from past pain and hurt but i feel like instead of letting that pain harden you instead of letting the pain um desensitize you or make you scorned I feel like a lot of you you know instead found your power by standing alone by being independent by being you know you just realized that you were stronger by yourselves and you trusted your intuition and I feel like many of you found your balance you found that you were off kilt when you were in a partnership maybe someone were overbearing, you know, maybe someone was definitely demanding more than they were willing to give and that threw you off balance. On the bottom of the deck, we have nature. So many, many of you, uh, maybe you need to spend time out in nature, maybe during being out in nature. This is when you've come to these conclusions. This is when your intuition was at its peak. But this is the color of the green. So I do feel like there was a lot of messages, a lot of downloads. 
in regards to love, in regards to your feelings, your heart matters, things that matter to you. I feel like a lot of you had started to listen to how you felt. But let's go ahead. Let's tap in. So divine spirit of love and light. Let's tap in, tune in. What's coming and going out, going on for Scorpios? What's coming and going out, going on for our beloved Scorpios? What's coming and going out, going on for our beloved Scorpios? What's coming and going out, going on for our beloved Scorpios? Divine spirit. Thank you. Spirituality. So this is what you started to discover about yourselves. I feel like your spirituality became like the focal point. You started to really get a lot of downloads. Started to listen to your intuition, which led you to a deeper understanding of who you were and what your purpose was. That 7-7 seven, seven is a divine number. Maybe some of you, 7 is a very... Um, powerful number. Maybe some of you all were born on 11-7. Maybe some of you were born in 77, 1977. I definitely feel like um, you started to listen to your intuition, which is shown here because the crown chakra is the seventh chakra. And so we have um, come home So many of you started to come home, which is come, you know, get back into yourselves because you were lost. You were definitely lost in a relationship, lost in a partnership. And um, I feel like when you started to listen to your intuition, it brought you into balance, back into alignment with your higher self. And you started to delve deeper into your spirituality. I feel like a lot of you found peace and comfort in perhaps your spiritual practices. That 14 breaks down to five, so there definitely was significant change in the way that you were receiving messages, the way that you were receiving downloads. You became a leader. This is the number 81, that's nine. So this is what you all had to take control of. You had to learn to take the reins of your life because I was picking up on an overbearing energy and with the song Come Home featuring Andre 3000 and um, Aaron Pock, this definitely is speaking to you all returning back to yourselves. Definitely returning back to yourself and also taking control of your lives. I feel like a lot of you started to, to you know, become stronger, more passionate, more powerful. Oh, this is on the bottom of the deck. But, um, yeah, so let's tap in Divine Spirit of Love and Light. Divine Spirit of Love and Light. What's coming in for our beloved Scorpios? Divine Spirit of Love and Light. And we have physical activity, 67. So some of you could be born in the year 1967. Some of you could be born on November 13th because that 67 reduces to 13. 13 reduces to 4. 4 could be some of you all life's path numbers. Some of you could be born on 11-4. I feel like there's definitely, um, there's been a lot of healing. The divine is saying that you've been doing a lot of groundwork, a lot of internal work, healing at a soul level. And this is bringing you more deep, it's just bringing you deeper into um, your spirituality. I feel like uh, a lot of you may have started to do yoga, a lot of you may have started to exercise more, be more active. Because we have come home playing. And I definitely feel like that's speaking to you, returning back to yourselves. Because a lot of you were lost, you know, lost in relationships, lost in love. A lot of us, when we get into partnerships, we don't realize how much we lose ourselves. And I feel like there was an overbearing partnership, someone who could have... You know, maybe if it's a karmic connection, that means there were lessons that you were destined to learn from that partnership. So it wasn't an, an easy um, experience, but I feel like for the most part, many of you have rose to the occasion. And a lot of you paid attention to your intuition in order to tap into your spirituality, in order to discern, you know, 
who you were. I feel like there was a lot of synchronicities. A lot of things started to happen and almost like it was just like it was almost like in in a way where you knew you were being spoken to by a higher power and you just started to pay closer attention. See that teaching and learning. So many of you were learning from your past partners and I feel like it's because you now are going to be in a position to help others, to teach others, to heal others, to share what you've learned through your spiritual journey. Because spirituality, the 7-7 seven, seven is speaking to a very divine power that you have tapped into. And when you tap into that divinity of your spirituality, it definitely will let you, it will give you, it will empower you so that you can help others on their journey. And I feel like with this physical activity, you started to, um, you started to utilize these gifts. You started to put them in practice. We have Brandy singing angel in disguise. So many of you could be earth angels. Maybe this is how others perceive you. You're angels in disguise. You've been in their lives. You've been beacons of light to people. I know a lot of you come into the comment section and you keep it positive. You keep it peace. You keep it, you know, just good vibrations. And many of you are healers, shamans, light workers because of what you've been through. You are the teachers. You are now the healers for those coming ben behind you. You could cast, you know, pass the baton to those who are also going through the things that you've come out of. I feel like for a lot of you, you all are that person in many of your friends' lives, many of your family's lives that people go to to seek advice. You have healing words. You speak love and light on everyone. And that's something that makes others see you as an angel. And while others may admire it, some, some may um, despise it, be jealous of it, envious of it. <clears throat> so we have teaching and learning. Many of you have been learning, learning who you are, learning what your purpose is, learning what you, who you've always been. I feel like a lot of you were the so-called quote unquote black sheep of the family and you know you may have had like a difficult life difficult childhood you know because you were misunderstood we have pride number 19 and that's the end of pride 19 reduces to 10 I feel like a lot of you maybe some of you were dealing in your ego Maybe some of you were too proud to ask for help, too proud to ask for the assistance. And I feel like many of you made those necessary changes so that you can be in balance. This 19 reduces to 10, 10 reduces to one. So I feel like a lot of you are starting to, and there's a lot of purple, different shades of purple. So maybe a lot of you are checking yourselves before you take action, before you do things. Making sure that you're not coming off too proud, too egotistical. Maybe some of you were dealing with someone who was very proud. I'm hearing very loud in my mind's eye, TLCs. I ain't too proud to beg, no. So maybe some of y'all were begging someone for their love, begging for a partnership almost. Even if you weren't verbally begging, maybe just your actions staying longer than necessary in a partnership where it wasn't serving your highest good. And that could be why there were moderations necessary, which means change, which means adjustments. This is the number 14, so that's five. So I feel like you made some changes emotionally, you know, and maybe someone's pride got in the way and they needed to make some changes in the way that they emoted and the way that they expressed love towards you. But someone's definitely recognizing your angels in disguise, masculine or feminine. And I feel like their pride got in the way. So we got another card here and it's another purple. A lot of you are very intuitive, very psychic. And we have personal growth came back out. So a lot of you have been learning. You got 777. Many of you could be seeing 777, 444. 
I feel like the seven is definitely speaking to you all being highly, highly intuitive and very much listening to and trusting your intuition. You're psychic. And I feel like that's probably what has saved a lot of you from even more hurt because I feel something kicked in intuitively. I feel like you started to discern things. You started to pick up on people's change. You know, people's energy started to change their behavior. You paid attention to people's behavior. And I feel like in doing so, this helped you. And I feel like you started to notice someone's re respect for you faded. And I feel like naturally when you start to heal and grow, the pride, the ego, all of those negative um, characteristics tend to fade away. Because we have um, faded playing by the locks featuring Tyler Woods. Yeah, so I definitely feel like a lot of you, you know, you were, because he said me and Mary Jane, we get so sedated. So I feel like a lot of you, maybe some of y'all was self-medicating, you know, and you weren't able to see your way clearly. You know, you wasn't able to see things. Maybe it was making you super paranoid. You know, some people who Chief Green, who Chief Mary Jane, like some people get real paranoid. They get stuck in their head and they get trapped in mind fuckery because I can't stop but to notice that all of these cards are purple and then this card is intuition so I feel like you strengthened your intuition gradually slowly your first eye began to open and it's ending with personal growth so a lot of you were dealing with you know you were in in a very proud disposition or maybe you was dealing with someone who was proud but we have individuality. Remember this card kept showing up during the pre-shuffle. So individuality is telling me that a lot of you are in a partnership connection where many of you have lost your way. You lost yourselves. And I feel like you lost yourselves because you was dealing with someone who could have been, like I said, you know, kind of like overbearing, very controlling. And I feel like you thought maybe the way to keep and maintain this relationship is just by kind of like appeasing, pleasing. But you were dealing with a very proud person, someone who's just, they let their pride get in the way even of this relationship, even of making good decisions. I feel like with this personal growth though, it's showing the journey, you know. You trusted your intuition. It tapped you into your higher self, your spirituality. You started to be more physical. Maybe you started to take more nature walks. You started to get out there, breathing in that fresh prana, getting around a lot of the, you know, nature, seeing synchronicities. You stepped out of that space of pride because our pride is, you know, that's, that, that's almost like the ego, you know, which is really to protect us so many of you kind of put on this this armor this armor of pride and like i said maybe your pride wouldn't let you walk away from a partnership because you just wanted it to work but i feel like overall you all discovered who you were you all returned back home you all returned to your authentic selves and it helped you to grow, it helped you to evolve, it helped you to become stronger. So we have independent on the bottom of the um, goddess guidance deck. So you definitely learned how to stand erect to be independent because you realize that this was a foundation for your strength as well as your success and your security. So I definitely am seeing here. So we have 40 acres playing by Killer Mike, T.I., so divine spirit. So when you pay your just due, that the 40 acres is 
um, an ode to what was um, what was promised to black people due to slavery, 40 acres of land and a mule. Uh, we've yet to get that, you know, it's almost like reparations. So this, that's what's playing. So I feel like a lot of you, um, the divine is saying that, you know, the seeds that you have planted, the seeds you have sown, rather, um, they're blossoming because we have Ericola here. So in other words, your hard work is paying off. I feel like your intuition is sharper because you remained vigilant and persistent in achieving a goal. And I feel like whatever you were confused about or whatever conflicts you may have had, I feel like you learn to just be more patient with the process because it brought you into balance. It brought more stability into your life because you started to pay closer attention to your intuition. That card flew out, so I'm just taking it for that. And maybe this is not necessarily for that. That's a bonus. So whatever you've, seeds you've planted, Scorpios, they are blossoming. So trust that, believe that. So divine spirit of love and light, what messages do you have for our beloved Scorpios, divine spirit of love and light? So let's cut the deck. Bottom of the deck. So we have intuition, endings and beginnings. So what was I saying about you all completing a cycle? So that's the end of a cycle and you are listening and trusting your intuition to release what no longer serves you so that you can now receive and be receptive to the new. I feel like with this first eye opened on her, on her, um, you know, that first eye that's open right there, that's definitely speaking to and alluding to the intuition card. So you paid attention to, you know, everything that was happening around you. And I feel like when things stopped feeling natural, feeling when you started to feel more resistance in your partnerships and you started to feel more of this conflict, that's when you knew it was time to end a situation, especially a partnership because the balance was thrown off. There was a lack of stability. There was a lack of security at that point. And I do feel like this was a karmic relationship. The bottom of the deck, you've transformed. This was meant to bring forth transformation, change. Shifts happen. And I feel like, you know, you started to experience these enormous changes, which led you to know that there were a lot of blessings coming. And I feel like I feel like with a lot of you, this brought you to your higher selves. When you ended this cycle, as I was saying earlier, it's like that's what led you to, you know, doing your spiritual work, tapping into your spirituality. And we have Joe to see good love. So you started to love on yourselves. You started to practice healthy self-care. You started to put yourselves first. You started to discover your worth and your value, what you brought to the table. Maybe someone made you feel less than, but you, you know, that, that was designed to transform you, as I was saying. And um, let me count these butterflies, because I know it's of significance. So we have... And yep, there's 21. So 21 butterflies reduces to three. So it was a slow and steady process, but the changes brought forth manifestation. And I feel like your spirituality began to transform you as you started to tap into your spirituality, which is ultimately all of our divinity. I feel like that's what's going to bring 
a lot of beautiful blessings, even good love, because we have Jodeci playing good love. So a lot of you are very spiritual, very highly intuitive. So unconditional love, can't make this up. And I feel like the more you loved yourselves, I feel like this changed your vibration, it changed your auric field, it changed, you know, how you resonated, you know. But I feel like the love of self is what's now radiating off of you and it's going to attract other people to you because remember the love within. So when you have a natural sense of love of self, you, re you radiate that confidence, that love, and that, that draws people to you. And I feel like your spirituality with that 7-7, seven, seven, you started to discover just how dope you was, just how powerful you were, just how magical you are. You started to embrace that more. And I feel like someone is definitely in love with you unconditionally, mind, body, and spirit. Especially spirit. You're going to attract someone who's also spiritual, who's also on the same frequency, vibration, who doesn't get spooked out by your esoteric knowledge or interests or the way that you speak. You know, Scorpios are very deep, so we, we delve deep. So we're not surface level people. And I feel like someone is going to be drawn to that, going to be very attracted to you for that and vice versa. You have peace here. There's nothing for you all to worry about. You all have like truly, you've mastered the art of growth for personal growth to come out as the, um, you know, the outcome. And we see the gradual change that you're making. And then for the divine to promise that all of your needs and wants and desires will be taken care of and that there's nothing for you to worry about especially in terms of love there could be communication that could be coming in i feel like a lot of you are discovering your voice creatively artistically and this is what's blossoming this is what's bringing forth some sort of harvest because you've been planting seeds you know they say you reap what you sow so when you sow positive seeds and you're doing things from a high vibration and embrace, you know, from a vibration of love, kindness, truth, then you're going to receive all of that and then some. The harvest is going to definitely bring forth a lot of blessings, a lot of abundance, a lot of positivity into your life. But peace is saying that you have nothing to worry about. And I called upon Mama Yemenya. This is the great mama. So Mama Yemenya is bringing forth these golden opportunities. And I feel it's because of the seeds you've planted. The physical activity means, you know, the action that you took. You took action. You wasn't just sitting back waiting for people to hand things to you. You, you were proactive. And we have Streets of New York playing by Remy, Terry Squad. Terror Squad, Tony Sunshine, so Divine Spirit of Love and Light. So like I said, a lot of you, you know, you were very active. And um, I don't know, but the words mind over matter, you know, because um, when everyone, you know, I come from New York, I'm from the Bronx. Um, and so... When I think of New York, because this is, it says streets of New York. Um, when I think of that term, it automatically makes me think of New York state of mind. And then mind over matter is the first thing that came to me. So I feel like for a lot of you, um, you had to overcome your fears. You had to overcome some things that were debilitating in a lot of ways. You know, a lot of mental conflict when you're dealing with someone who could be narcissistic or overbearing. They could, you know, play on your self-esteem. And I feel like with the 67 reducing to four, because that's 13, 13 reduces to four, I feel like a lot of you found your balance. A lot of you started to 
unravel some of that mind fuckery for some of that confusion and the word labyrinth is coming to me so it was like it was just it was a maze but you you finally got out of it because you were proactive i feel like you were actively seeking guidance from your higher self from your angels and remember angel in disguise was playing by brandy so i feel like you sought the assistance the help from your angels your guides and they gave you the guidance on what you needed to do to break free from whatever mind fuckery whatever mental conflict we have um receptivity so you definitely was open to receiving the answers the truths from your guides i feel like there's also there's also some blessings coming in because you were proactive because you planted the right seeds and the harvest is coming and it says allow yourself to receive this will increase your intuition energy and ability to give to others so receptivity is about receiving but it's also bringing you into balance into that space of oneness wholeness into harmony four is also a number of security self-sufficiency so i definitely am seeing that you know when you are open to what the divine has to offer you which i feel you were because you had to get out of that that fear get out of that mind state of of lack of confusion and trust the process i feel like this is now what's drawing in the abundance lakshmi is here she's promising you a bright future and she's telling you that there's nothing for you to worry about everything is being handled in a fair and just manner not even fair and just part of me so maybe justice will come out and the song i try is playing by against um angela bofield and so i feel like a lot of you definitely you, you know the divine notices that you you've been trying really hard to get out of some sort of belief system maybe this is how some of you all were raised you know but i feel like you 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 got out of it and you started to be more open to the change you trusted your intuition Hathor is an ancient Kemetian goddess. Some of you may say ancient Egypt. I say ancient Kemetian for Kemet. And we have Lakshmi here. So this is beautiful. These two beautiful elephants in the background have their trunks raised, which raised, excuse me, which speaks to abundance and prosperity. This is encompassing of not only financial success, stability, security, but also love, peace, happiness, joy. Bright future means that you're going to be super happy. A lot of positive things are going to start to unfold. And it's because you were active, you were proactive. And you were also open to receive. You have to be open to receive this beauty, this abundance, this success. I feel like the divine is reminding you to be receptive because a lot of you have set healthy boundaries and I don't want you to miss out. The divine definitely doesn't want you to miss out. That's why they're telling you to be receptive. And I feel like a lot of you were trying in a partnership where it was definitely um, the end of the road. It wasn't a healthy dynamic between you and that person. You were trying with someone who wasn't trying. So it's resistance. And it caused a lot of conflict. It caused a lot of doubting. It caused you to question yourselves, your worth, your value. Someone wasn't opening up to you. And it was because they were very proud and egotistical. And I feel like your pride wouldn't let you go. And that I, um, I Ain't Too Proud to Beg lyric kept coming to me by um, TLC. So I feel like a lot of y'all was almost begging for someone's attention, begging for someone to stay. 
And then we have I Try by Angela Bofield. And she said, you know that I needed to make you mine. It was, it was just only a matter of time. So it was like you were fighting for a partnership because of your pride. You didn't want to let go because maybe you put a lot of time and energy. Maybe for some of y'all, it was up to 19 years. Maybe for some of y'all, it was 10 years that you were in this partnership. And I feel like for some of you all, you know, maybe your pride because you put so much into it, you didn't want to fail. You didn't want to walk away, even though you knew everything in you is telling you that the relationship, the partnership was it was over because you wasn't getting what you needed. You wasn't getting what you was deserving of. And someone was taking advantage of you, taking your love for granted, taking your kindness for granted. And I feel like ultimately this is what led to you discovering your worth, leading you to taking the, rein, the reins from this person, taking your power from this person, taking it back. Because the leadership card showed up. So I do feel like you all eventually learned to stand erect. But you did put your guards up. You did set healthy boundaries. And I feel like you stopped allowing this person to come into your life, to toy with your emotions, your feelings, and take from you, but never replacing what they're taking or reciprocating or depositing anything of value. But I feel like you set a, a guard, you, you stopped this individual from being able to come in and just fly out as soon as they came. And when you set those boundaries, that's when you became stronger. So we got our last two messages. So independence, see that? So you learned to stand direct. You took your power back from this situation, from someone who was very proud, someone who was very egotistical, someone who was definitely um, overbearing. And I feel like for a lot of you, you realize that you standing erect, you leaving a situation where it could have been, um, it just simply was toxic. It wasn't healthy for you and it's run its course. You know, 10 means, you know, that's the end of a cycle. It's completion, walking away. But I feel like it was a codependent partnership and you all had to learn to be individuals because remember that individuality card which is here on the bottom of the deck, was on the bottom of the deck. So a lot of you were in codependent in, um, relationships, and I feel like you needed to, to learn to stand on your own too and to discover how strong you were because your independence is a foundation of your strength as well as your success. So for many of you, you've realized um, that you can make it on your own, that you could do this on your own. Maybe that's why you were holding on to that connection, even with all of the signs that it was over. Maybe that's why you held on so tightly, because maybe some of you questioned whether or not you'd be able to live without this person or survive without this person. And the divine was showing you that that's your pride, that's your ego telling you you can't. But you had to get through that. You had to get out of that mind fuckery. And the moment you did, look how strong and confident she's standing. It's like, see me, hear me. We have Nas playing barbecue. Live at the barbecue. And so you put the end, that was the death of that. When you barbecue something, that means you, you cooking it well. So it's done, you know, it's a wrap. That partnership was done, that the death of that belief system, that ideology, the death of, you know, that way of thinking. Because now you know your worth, you know your power, you know your value. That's beautiful. And you have two cats here, two felines, and they're looking in two separate directions. So I feel like those, you know, the cats are very indicative of intuition. They're very intuitive um, animal totems and they teeter between spiritual, the spiritual realm as well as the earthly realm. And so they could see what's hidden. And maybe a lot of you took some deep dives and you started to pay attention to your intuition. I cannot stop to, you know, but to notice all of this purple. And purple is, you know, associated with the first eye chakra, as well as the, um, and it was just four, 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 four when I said that. So it's the first eye chakra and the crown chakra. So many of you definitely 
um, we're tapping into your higher selves, receiving a lot of downloads, definitely getting a lot of synchronicities through animal totems, numbers. Um, I feel like a lot of you may be seeing 666, like a, I mean 777, like I said, and 444, and I just caught 4444. So many of you may be also seeing those numbers. Um, we have guiding children. And so this is also flowing with the message of you all being teachers, you know, teaching and learning. Remember that message showed up. So many of you have children and because of this journey that you all have been on through your partnerships, you know, however toxic it got, I feel like a lot of you um, definitely remained, remained present. <laughs> um, you didn't slip too far off into never never land because you knew you had your babies to take care of so a lot of you definitely um have become better parents because of what you've been through more attentive to your children's needs you're paying closer attention to them i feel like you all have become um you know almost like your children's personal counselors helping them sort through their emotional traumas I feel like a lot of you can be counselors, a lot of you can be healing your children through, you know, perhaps even the breakup of a marriage that you have experienced with your, um, with your exes. But I do feel like many of you are focusing more on your children and their needs, on their mental health, their emotional health. And I feel like because personal growth is here, it's showing that this is what you uh, were destined to do. As I said, when you heal yourselves, you become healers. When you teach yourselves how to, how to come out of unhealthy relationships, you know, you then can become the teachers to others. We have Joey Badass blooming blossoms. So you definitely are blossoming. And we had that blossoming card show up. The divine is urging you all to go outside. This message comes out so much for Scorpios. And I know Scorpios, you all don't like to be outside because it's too people outside. But y'all need to get your asses outside. <laughs> I'm going to start cussing to, you know what I'm saying, at y'all because that message been coming out for months. You know, and it is still hot here in North Carolina. I'm talking still in the 90s. And on top of that, it's also like humid. But you all need to step outside because there is, um, you know, there's just this, you, you all have been like holed up. And I feel like there is definitely some messages that you all will receive. Remember the synchronicity card showed up during the pre-shuffle. So I do feel like you'll receive some some messages. We have carnucopia here. So the seeds that you have been planting, the divine was telling you that something's blossoming. And so what's blossoming is that you have this carnucopia. This is the harvest. It's coming from the divine. That's the 11. So this is the download. This is why perhaps maybe the divine is urging you to go outside because you're going to start reaping the rewards. And there's some things, you know, maybe there's some very important details, very important messages that you might need before these things come in. Remember the divine was urging you to be receptive. So in order for you to be receptive, you have to know when, you know, to, to open up or what to look for, I should say. So we have the temple path and then we have carnucopia. So a lot of you, because of the spiritual journey you have been on, I definitely feel like this is um, your birthright. It is some of you all, if not most of you all, your birthright to live in abundance because you all have been going through this spiritual journey your entire lives. Like I was picking up earlier, um, you know, many of you could have been the black sheep in the family, always misunderstood, you know, always had, you know, that rough life, always meeting people who you had to kind of like, you had to decompress from these individuals because it was like they were just toxic. But you are the conduits of change, of, you know, of change. And you are, you know, capable of transmuting that negativity, which I feel a lot of you had to do. And um, I feel like because of that, you know, with this endings 
and beginnings. I feel like the divine is saying that this new beginning, remember new beginning fell out during the pre-shuffle and the cards was just scattery. But I do feel like there's something that you all might need to like tap into your intuition uh, so that you don't miss something because you, you have reminders to be open, you know. But um, Angie Stone is playing No More Rain. So this is definitely letting me know the end of the the sadness, the end of the toxicity, the end of the disappointments, the end of no love, no reciprocity, you know, is it's over because Lakshmi already said you have a bright future ahead of you all. So you have to be open to receive it. So one more shuffle and then we'll tap in and you had, wow. So I'm going to take those cards. They were already chosen, bottom of the deck, door to spirit. So you have your angels and guides. They're assisting you. They're opening up these beautiful golden opportunities. All you have to do is walk through them. Trust the process. Pay attention to your intuition. So we have attachments. And attachments was reversed. But I don't read reversed. So I do feel like a lot of you have someone who's trying to hold on to you. Trying to keep you stuck in a cycle. Maybe this could be even your own belief system, a mask you were wearing. Maybe this was ego and pride, or maybe this is just another individual. But because no more rain is playing, I do feel like it's saying that you have released whatever attachments, whatever shadow work you've had to do, you've completed it. And I feel like this grade energy definitely speaks to the shadow, definitely speaks to the toxicity that you were bound and stuck to. But I do feel like you have ended that cycle and now you are coming into a beautiful cycle where there's stability. Someone was throwing you off. I feel like, again, this is speaking to a codependent partnership, someone who kept you bound to them. And this is someone who could have addictions, could have control issues, confuse themselves. I feel like you've discovered someone was wearing a mask. And I feel like you listened to your intuition, which showed you that this individual definitely was not, um, was not, was not good for you. They just simply was bringing you down. So this codependency and remember individuality, you had to break free from someone who was codependent and you had to learn to stand direct, stand alone. You had to learn to be independent. You had to learn to trust that you were capable of doing this all on your own. And with no more rain, the divine is saying that, you know, it's the end of the sadness, the end of that confusion. So we have Archangel Gabriel here. And Archangel Gabriel deals with the throat chakra. So many of you with the spirituality and unconditional love. I feel like a lot of you with this 39, it reduces to three because that's 12. And that five definitely is referencing the change and the trust in your intuition. You changed from listening to someone else who is throwing you off. And she's saying what goes around comes around. What goes up must come down. So someone definitely was keeping you stuck to them and playing a lot of mind games just to keep you there. But I definitely feel like a lot of you all found your voice. You started to express yourselves in a spiritual way, whether that was through playing tarot cards, Maybe some of you turn to painting. Maybe some of you turn to writing, you know. And we have You Wouldn't Understand by Nas um, playing. So a lot of people wouldn't even begin to understand the level of spirituality you tapped into. I feel like a lot of you started to tap even into your magic. You started to create like potions, elixirs started to make like, oint, you know, anointing oils, candles, jewelry. You just started to communicate or express yourselves artistically. 
and spirit it was a spiritual gift though it's tapped into spirituality it's tapped into the esoteric it's tapped into the occult and I feel like that's what helped you to discover this unconditional love I feel like somebody is going to express their love as well express this unconditional love and and they don't even understand it I don't think you would even begin to understand the type of love that's coming in I feel like this is something you all may have manifested I definitely feel like someone is going to express something and it's because they had some sort of wake up call and it's the fact that they love you I feel like this is someone who's also uh, drawn and attracted to your spirituality to your your down to earth you're just you're a healer you're intuitive you're unique and I feel like there's this this attraction someone finds you to be even handsome just I keep hearing dapper debonair suave we have adjacent possibilities so you're gonna have a lot of options and the divine is presenting these options 26 reduces I mean 24 reduces to 6 so that's harmony so I feel like you have to trust, you know, what, what you're going to feel, you know, trust what you feel is going to bring you a level of, you know, stability, bring you a level of security, because I feel like regardless, it's going to lead you to some sort of bright future, some sort of infinite supply. And you're going to have options. I definitely see a lot of doors, a lot of opportunities are opening up for you with adjacent possibilities. So there's gonna be a lot of options, a lot of abundance, a lot of doors opening up because things were dark for a while. But I feel like this is because of the seeds you have planted in the past. And remember, Carnocopia showed up, so there's definitely like some sort of harvest and the divine is blessing you, goddess of the moon. So during the next full moon, perhaps, or maybe there was a lot of secrets, maybe trusting your intuition and looking within. You know, the moon forces us to go within. The moon represents reflection. So many of you reflected and realized that you needed to stand erect for 52 reduces to seven. And so your intuition led you to realize that, you know, your independence was the foundation for your strength as well as your security I feel like a lot of you were kind of hiding the fact that there was fear perhaps maybe you discovered some secrets discovered the fact that you were afraid to stand alone that you were codependent I do feel like intuitively you paid attention and you discovered that your pride or maybe someone else's pride and ego may have forced them to to be deceptive, to be dishonest, to not be forthcoming, to not be transparent, or even to be good for you. I definitely see here where, you know, maybe during this next full moon, Some sort of truth could be coming out. We have um, Weary by Amel LaRoe playing. So yeah, I definitely feel like you were weary. You were definitely, you know, kind of like, you were afraid. I, I just keep picking up on fear. You know, your pride and your ego, you know, they're, they're, they're there to protect you. But I feel like for a lot of you, you, you were very afraid to stand erect and alone. But you discovered that you, you know, this was a reflection of something that may have been rooted in, you know, maybe your childhood. Maybe this is because, you know, you were, you know, you, we become products of our environment. So maybe you lived in a household where 
you know, the funds were scarce, you know. You didn't, you didn't have everything you needed. You struggled a lot. You saw your parents struggle. And so you were bred to believe that you needed a man or you needed a woman, you needed someone else to be able to survive. But I do see that there's this revelation, you know, the 19, that's the end that reduces to 10. And then that 10 reduces to one, which means that there's this new, you know, perspective. And I feel like, you know, with this, her holding this over her crown, I feel like it's speaking to, you know, seeing, getting the download that, you know, she can she can stand direct. She can stand strong on her own. And she needn't be weary. She needn't be concerned or fearful, afraid. Trust the process. See that? We have appreciation and we have journey. So I definitely am seeing here, you know, your journey has led you to appreciate all that you've been through. I feel like for a long time, a lot of you were, with this number two, I feel like you were a little confused. I feel like you were trying to make a decision as to whether or not, you know, moving away from someone or something was going to be best for you. And that's, you know, like I said, the confusion here with the pride. You were weary initially because you couldn't foresee yourselves being able to survive. But I feel like you, you trusted the process. And with this 15, you found your balance. You found this sense of harmony. Maybe a lot of you were sweating the small things, not paying attention to the bigger picture. And I feel like ultimately you made the decision to choose yourselves to walk away from what wasn't serving you, to walk away from someone or something that didn't appreciate you, didn't appreciate what you brought to the table. And I feel like this taught your children even this. Just watching you has taught your children to love themselves, to always believe in themselves. This personal growth is something your children acknowledge. And they also can see this, this change in their, their, um, their parent. They could see the change in their mother. They could see the change in their father. On the bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Wands. And this is the Orisha's deck. This is Baba Obatala. This is his card. And we have Nina Simone, Don't Let Me Be Misunderstood. And wasn't I saying that, you know, Scorpios tend to be misunderstood during, you know, the, the beginning of the reading. That's one of our, you know, that's something guaranteed is because we're so deep, people don't tend to go as deep as us. So they can't even fathom the ways that we think. And we have the four of wands. So I am seeing, you know, this, this sense of independence, you know, standing erect. This was a family dynamic, perhaps. Maybe dealing with someone with whom you thought was your soulmate, your twin flame. I feel like you do have someone coming in who sees you perhaps as, you know, st stable, strong, wife material twin flame, new love offer, someone who wants to apologize perhaps for their misdeeds, their past actions. Find spirit of love and light. I see what's coming in, going out, going on for our beloved Scorpios. I see the six of wands. So that six of wands is letting me know that there's definitely some sort of victory ahead. And I feel like it's because you have been taking action. You've been following your passion. Don't let me be misunderstood by Nina Simone. And I feel like, you know, by you overcoming that fear, overcoming the confusion even of dealing with people who misunderstood you, it led you to trusting yourselves. You know, trusting yourselves and not worrying too much about what other people thought. So let's tap and tune in. Bottom of the deck, overall energy. This will clarify 
intuition, Kali, endings and beginnings, and attachment. And so we have the Queen of Wands. So I definitely see here what's going on. Someone was dealing with some sort of... Um, I feel like a third party ended a relationship. I feel like intuitively you picked up on the fact that someone that you were connected to was dealing with a third party and you felt very much stabbed in the back. You may have picked up on the the messages as I said intuitively. Maybe, you know, you heard via, you know, maybe you heard from someone else through the horse's mouth. But um we have twerk it playing by Buster Rhymes. So maybe someone was um, distracted by, you know, some sort of, you know, incubus succubus energy. I feel like this ended a cycle. I feel like you trusted your intuition and you, you know, kind of cut yourself free from the situation. There was definitely a, a lot of challenges. There was competition. Um, someone was wearing a false mask in a partnership, in a relationship um, because they had, you know, some sort of extramarital affair or some sort of third party um, connection. I feel like this person was bound and stuck to this queen of swords. Maybe she could have been doing a lot of, um, ritual work, spell work to keep this person boxed in, to keep them stuck to them. So this is someone who came in and, uh, broke up a happy home, I feel. Uh, but I feel like ultimately, um, you knew what was happening and you walked away because maybe this person left you for this person. Um, I do feel like there was a level of leaving you for this person. Yep. We got the Hierophant here. So maybe someone felt more tied to someone else, uh, felt like someone was their soulmate, someone was uh, better suited for them, and they may have abandoned you to go uh, and chase after someone else. Um, I am feeling like this was a lesson because this this is like they were opposites. Or maybe this person felt like the two of you were opposites uh, because he's green and her background is green and then she's yellow and his background is yellow. So I feel like they felt the two of you, you know, maybe there were some differences. Um, even spirituality, I feel like a lot of you, as I said, maybe some of you started to study and you started to become more aware of your surroundings, you started to pay closer attention to the signs, synchronicities that could have been um, the thing that awakened you, that made you realize that something wasn't um, right, but you did more work on yourselves. Um, so there could have been a marriage. Um, the divine is saying that, you know, you also could have someone coming in who's also into the practice. Um, I feel like this is someone who's also been healing, um, who's been healing from past pain, hurt, and who's also been you know has been through disappointments in their lives but I feel like they find you to be beautiful and attractive because what they lack you have and what you lack they have so it's almost as if the two of you can kind of like complete one another but you also mirror one another in a very strange way there is a lot of unconditional love here and I also feel like someone will communicate and confess this to you. I do feel someone will be attracted to you um, sexually. Maybe they like your behind, you know, um, fellas, maybe you like someone's behind uh, because we got twerk it here by Buster Rhymes playing and we have, and maybe somebody's going to like, you know, somebody's going to come in and put in the work, um, you know, to, to show you that they're attracted, to show you that they care. Um, it's going to be more than just speaking words. You're going to see them twerk it. They're going to work it for you. They're going to they're going to put action behind it. We have the six of discs. So I definitely see that there is some sort of generous offer coming in. Um, I am seeing and sensing that someone is willing to compromise. Someone is willing to build. Um, this is investing. You know, and this is, um, we have Jizza Liquid Swords. Um, so there will be, you know, communication. Uh, liquid Swords, what I'm thinking of, I'm thinking of like liquid water and then swords is air. So I feel like they will not only, like I said, will they come in and um, be willing to compromise and show you how they feel, but I feel like they will show you 
emotionally by being attentive, affectionate, caring, kind, but they will also communicate. They will be expressive of their feelings. And this person does love unconditionally. And this is someone who's also um, spiritual, who's also um, in the esoteric um, practice, someone who's definitely tapped and tuned into their spirituality. Um, and with this six of discs, I do feel like they, they're willing to invest. Um, we have the um, knight of discs. So this is definitely um, someone who takes their time to get it right. And they're taking their time to get it right because they want long-term investment. This is longevity. This is emotional investment. This is stability. This is security. Um, this is someone who will um, be very expressive of how they feel. You know, with this Liquid Swords playing by Jizza, I do feel like they will communicate and they will also um, show their love. They will show love. They will be very, very um, attentive, if you will. And we have the World card. So again, you know, the ending denotes a new beginning. I feel like there is um, the end of an old cycle. Um, and there's a lot of blessings coming in because you've wrapped up a karmic cycle. I feel like there's a, there's a crown. If you look closely right here, there's a crown like right over this world, this globe. It's a crown right here. Can you see that? I'm trying to get it to see the crown. So I feel like the divine is saying you've earned your crown. Um, so be receptive because there's blessings coming in. Remember, Lakshmi said you have a bright future. And I feel like it's because you, you, you put action behind the words. You know, you didn't just sit around waiting for someone. I feel like a lot of you did the work, which is why the world card is showing up twice. And I feel like not only did you do your work, but I feel like whoever you're attracting, they also had to come out of some sort of toxic cycle. So why is physical activity here? And the liquid swords also could be like cutting off. I feel like, you know, you, you, you've, you know, you may be communicating so to someone also that, you know, it's, it's done. Maybe there's going to be some closure. Um, we do have the nine of cups here. So this is you feeling emotionally fulfilled on your own. We have the page of cups. So this is, um, this could be a, a, a some sort of an apology or this could be a new love coming in that you don't even know that you don't expect expect it could be wish fulfillment someone may find you to be wish fulfillment this could be someone that you could have manifested i feel like that that's why the divine is telling you to be receptive because with this bright future that represents like i said it's encompassing of everything not just abundance and stability but also love when you look at the bright future card you have the two elephants and two of anything equals duality, balance. And the water behind definitely speaks to like emotional fulfillment, contentment, love. And this page of cups, this is someone coming that you don't expect. Um, this is new love. This is a communication of love. This is someone expressing love. As I said, with liquid swords playing by Jizza. So someone is coming in to express how they feel. Um, and with physical activity, they're going to show you. And I feel like with receptivity here, the divine is telling you to be open. I feel many of you are going to have options. You know, Scorpios are going to have options because, like I said, you've leveled up. You've, you know, you've definitely discovered your worth and value. So you're not selling for less. And with this nine of cups, I feel like, you, you know, you have the nine of cups all in your own. So with this page of cups, this is, you know, the ten. So this definitely can be emotional contentment for you. And I feel like someone is coming towards you. I see this. You know, this looks, this could be a deer. It looks like a deer. So I definitely feel like someone is like wanting to come in because they are attracted to you. Um, and we do have, um, you know, the song. What is this? So we have Cool Keith Living Astro. So I definitely um, pick up on the fact that this person could be astral projecting and like spying visiting you th via those means maybe someone's communicating um intuitively telepathically but i feel like a lot of you are emotionally fulfilled because you walked away from a situation that left you emotionally bankrupt 
And um, I feel like your pride, your ego initially kept you there as long as you did because you just didn't want to let go. And I'm hearing Teddy Pendergrass, I think I better let it go. Doom, doom, doom. Looks like another love TKO. So maybe some of y'all were in, you know, a lot of relationships that failed, crashed and burned. And for the life of you, you just was trying for the life of you to just hold on to this because you didn't want it to end up the way all of the others did. But I feel like what you realize now is like, you know, there was a belief system. There was a way of thinking that was holding you stuck. Or maybe that's what was attracting these same types of individuals to you. Because I can't stop looking at all of these purples. And like I said, those purples represent the first eye, the crown eye. And this is the first card that flew out. And, you know, this endings and beginnings that doesn't only, you know, speak to just relationships ending, but it also speaks to belief systems, habits, behaviors, you know. And so I feel like a lot of you started to do your due diligence, started to listen to your intuition. And it led you, you know, it didn't it didn't lead you astray. It showed you exactly what you needed to work on. And as you started to work on those things, I feel like a lot of the the. Um, a lot of the faulty belief systems just started to kind of, you started to break free from that. But we do have this nine of cups, as I said, and I feel like that's just speaking to the emotional fulfillment and contentment because this independent card, you know, that that's definitely someone who feels very emotionally, you know, content all on her own. This is self-sufficiency, independent self you know, reliant. She knows she can depend on herself. She knows she's fine. Bast. That's powerful. So divine spirit, love and light. Thank you, spirit. So we have the devil. See that? So the, the, this was, you know, that shadow side. Working with your shadow side. The pride can be shadow. You know, the pride, the ego, that's your shadow side. But I also feel like, you know, um, discovering someone was toxic someone was you know very proud egotistical not willing to you know to give equally someone overbearing someone who just wanted to attach themselves this also could be just someone who was overbearing as i said manipulative conniving deceptive dishonest i feel like this person uh, may have um had some sort of addictions and afflictions, which may have tried, you know, they tried to keep you stuck and stagnant. Maybe this was, like I said uh, before, a codependent relationship and you had to learn to take your power back, to stand erect, to stand on your own too. This was someone who had a lot of secrets, dark secrets, things you still don't know. This also could be someone who, you know, with this chain on the heart, could have been doing love spells. You see this person blowing this smoke and it's like a skull and a knife and then it's blowing directly at that. So I feel like it required, you know, a lot of you to, you know, to do your, your soul work. And we have I'm Glad You're Mine by Al Green playing. And so with this song playing and then it's automatically taking me to, to the Queen of Wands and the attachment. So I'm Glad You're Mine and then we're... We just pulled the devil. So this is what I'm feeling is that this queen of wands, because that same sword that she has there is here. It's the same sword. So she was doing some sort of love spells on someone. Someone's pride and ego is what led them into um, some sort of um, karmic relationship. They may have had addictions. They may have been doing a lot of drinking. They were doing something excessively. And it was to their detriment. You see this crossword, crossroad. It was like they were stuck between a hard, rock and a hard place also. And I feel like whatever this person, you know, whenever they tried to come back, you know, it was like there was eyes watching. So it was almost like they did some sort of this, this queen of wands did some sort of love spell. There was a lot of secrets, a lot of things that, you know, um, was hidden. But I feel like you freed yourself from that connection. This person's pride is what led them into a situation trying to do what they wanted to do. And it led them into a partnership with someone 
who put some for, sort of voodoo or hoodoo, juju, santeria, black magic on them. But there was definitely like someone was trying to do love spells. This the heart with the chain is showing that there was definite um, black magic. And they're being watched. Someone's definitely being watched. I feel like someone could also be watching you. You know, maybe that's that um, karmic could be watching you. And we have the Eight of Swords. See that? So there was a lot of confusion. Someone was trapped in mental fuckery, mind fuckery, confusion. This is also self-imposed. So when you are, um, and it says, I'm glad you're mine. So, you know, someone was very glad to steal someone um, from their person, you know. Um, but I also feel like whoever was trapped in confusion and mental anguish is uh, seeking some sort of um, answers because we have temperance here. So it's like they're starting to see their own reflection, see how they look. You see how they're like looking at their own reflection and they're realizing, um, you know, something that just simply wasn't right. They, they needed to balance themselves. They also realized someone could have been doing some some sort of spell work on them. But balance was necessary because they were imbalanced. And I feel like it was because of mind, you know, their mind, like I said, their pride, their ego. It was definitely change necessary. Um, in order to get out of this rut. But um, we have um, The Roots playing um, Proceed featuring um, Roy Ayers. So you proceeded to do your work. And we have the Five of Swords here. So I feel like you overcame some sort of struggle, competition. The Five of Swords is someone trying to win at all costs. But I feel like with the personal growth here, you overcame that by leaving that situation behind. We have the King of Swords. So the Five of Swords was the competition, was someone winning at all costs, lying, cheating, stealing. This is immaturity. This also could speak to someone doing um, something to cause confusion. This is competitive energy. They hate what they can't duplicate, but I feel like you've grown personally someone that didn't appreciate you, who took you for granted, you moved away from that energy and you cut them off with the King of Swords. So you've released someone because you discovered that they did not serve your highest good. So let's clarify these messages. Bottom of the deck, we got the Four of Wands. So you was definitely in a partnership, a marriage, a relationship, a connection where you were planting root seeds with someone and you discovered there was a third party. This was someone who had some sort of shadow work. There was definitely, um, you know, playboy, playgirl energy in and out. Someone could have got burned. This is very felicious energy. Someone could have got burned or burned somebody. I feel like they were ruled by their phallus. So this is incubus, succubus energy. Someone using sex as a, we a weapon. And this is someone who um, was noncommittal. In and out. Back and forth. Impulsive. And I feel like you proceeded to do your work. You proceeded to leave that connection. We got the Nine of Cups. So you found your own emotional fulfillment, stability, happiness, and joy. I feel like a lot of you took action to discover what made you happy. To discover what, you know, floated your boat. And we have this um, emperor here. So many of you are dealing with that overbearing energy. Someone controlling, ruling with an iron fist, non-emotional just very controlling. There goes the Queen of Wands. So someone definitely had an affair with the Queen of Wands. I feel like these two had a lot of passion. Someone could have got burned with that Knight of Wands. That's the playgirl, playboy energy. Someone was tricked. Someone was fooled. Someone was duped with the Seven of Swords. I feel like this Queen of Wands definitely um, tricked your person, stole your person from you, played a lot of games. Your person may have got burned, may have got cheated. There was definitely a lot of lies, deception. I feel like this was someone you were in a partnership, a marriage. The relationship was happy until someone started to, um, you know, this is self-deception. This also is trickery. 
this buffoon is tricking this lion but the lion won't be fooled for too long i feel like someone was definitely uh, manipulative very calculating conniving someone definitely betrayed someone else's trust and we have the magician so there was a lot of manipulation emotional manipulation conniving got lying gossiping backstabbing this is a master manipulator master you know master manipulators are you know they only do things to their betterment to their um yeah it's for for their betterment how they're going to benefit that's all they care about so let's clarify these messages so you yep there goes the knight of pentacles so you were sitting around waiting for someone to offer you the love to shower you with the love and they were showering it on this queen of wands and not you they made you wait while they played and this is someone that you had a codependent connection to this is someone you were attached to i feel like this queen of wands also attached themselves to this person did some sort of love spells and that's why you have the endings and beginnings and intuition because you paid attention to your intuition and discovered that there was a lot of fuckery going on behind your back. And while you were sitting around waiting for your person to commit to you, to offer you commitment, long-term commitment to build this family, they were out seeding, sowing seeds with someone else, showering this queen of wands. So the queen of wands could have did a spell where your person would come to them. They could have did a come to me spell. They could have did a love spell, make them sweet on them while making them cause conflict with you. There's all kind of spells out there. You'd be amazed. And there goes the world card again. So there's no denying that there was a completion of a cycle. This is the divine saying that you wrap that cycle up. This was about you learning self-worth, self-value. This is about you not allowing yourself to be the third party, to be the kickstand in any relationship, especially when you were the main female in the partnership and then this queen of wands kind of nestled her way in between this union so this person intentionally was giving to someone else showering them with the love you know being um more compromising in that partnership so divine spirit of love and light let me get another message let's clarify six of discs along with the knight of discs so we have the king of pentacles so you have someone coming in that is suited for you i feel like someone has matured someone has grown up because we got the six of discs and the knight of pentacles here and then we have spirituality unconditional love and then archangel gabriel so i do feel like someone is coming in to communicate and express perhaps their feelings express uh, some sort of unconditional love we have you give good love playing. Someone acknowledges um, the love that they have for you. You give good love by Whitney Houston is playing. So unconditional love and spirituality. Someone that is recognizing, um, you know, how much of a, a, a beautiful soul you are. How kind, how down to earth, how unique, how rare how spiritual they are attracted to your spirituality they're attracted to like i said you know um even to your mind they're attracted to you to the point where they want to invest they want to commit i am feeling like this person may come in and offers some sort of um long-term commitment this is someone who wants to invest long term this is someone very resourceful very practical but this is also that supportive king, very, he's got the Midas touch, so he's capable of like taking care of you. And he has these two um, lions on the back of his throne, so it's a dual energy. So I do feel like he is coming in to, to, to be a leader, to be a provider, to take care of you. And there's actually three lions because there's one right here. So what I'm feeling with the three lions, 
is I feel like, you know, this is something you may have manifested. I feel like this person is going to communicate. Um, they're finding, you know, trying to muster up the courage to come towards you. And I do feel like they are, you know, maybe this is someone you, you know, maybe there's um, someone you know. Definitely isn't an ex, but this is someone else you know. And I feel like they're going to show you love. They're going to be more expressive with their love, with their actions to show love. They're going to also communicate and verbally. That's probably why they're trying to muster up the strength and courage to come towards you. They've been waiting a while to say this. And I feel like they're, they're getting to the point where, you know, because it looks like they're on what appears to be like a wheel. So it's almost like they're waiting for an opportune time to do this. And maybe some of you have been waiting for a while. Maybe this, this is an energy of, you know, someone realizing, you know, that there was a lot invested in a connection. And they may not have, you know, reciprocated the gesture. Maybe there was a lot, you know, that you put into a partnership and you feel like unfulfilled. You feel like you did it for nothing. It led to nothing, but there's someone new coming in that's going to really appreciate the love you give. And this is like someone who's well to do. They're well off. The king of pentacles is like he's the kingpin. He's got the Midas touch. Whatever you want, he can provide it. We have the empress here. So the empress, this is your energy. So you all are the empress. This is why this king is attracted you are the empress or the emperor. This is male, female energy. All of this energy, male or female, switch the roles. But you are divinely, divinely guided, protected. You're beautiful. You're a master manifester. You have news coming in. I feel like a lot of you have someone coming in to express their love. You're going to have options. Someone finds you to be beautiful. And we have um, Love of My Life playing by Erica Badu, featuring uh, Queen Latifah, Angie Stone, and Bahamadia. So someone is going to come in and tell you that you are the love of their life because she has this owl. And then we have the page of cups. So there is a message of love. Someone is going to tell you you're the love of their life. And that's why the divine was telling you to be receptive, to be open. And you have the sun. So there's a lot of joy. And you got bright future. So look at this. This is beautiful. Bright future, infinite supply. Didn't I say that this doesn't, dis this doesn't just denote like abundance and prosperity. With all of that water, it also shows emotional contentment. And then you look at these cards here. And you have the empress with the page of cups. So there is a message of love. There could be an apology or there could be someone new coming in to let you know that you are the love of their life, that they are attracted to you. And then you have the sun card here. So this is someone that feels you bring a lot of joy. This could be someone that um, definitely has also healed. This could be someone with whom you known from childhood. You knew when you were younger. Maybe this is someone who could have Virgo in their chart. Not Virgo. Um, yeah, Virgo. Virgo in their chart. But we definitely have someone who's coming in to express this love, this attraction. Uh, because love of my life is playing. Bottom of the deck, we have the two of cups. So there is definite someone is coming in and we have physical activity so there will be someone coming towards you there will be you know someone may come towards you and say look um can we meet up you know sit down have a glass of wine or a cup of coffee um someone wants to let you know how they feel someone's coming in to express this i feel like there's a message of love because this empress has this owl on her hand so this is a message and you all are very stable, very successful, very abundant. You're very abundant. And the Two of Cups, this is a spiritual union. This is harmony. 
I feel someone definitely is coming in between or has come between this union in the past through some sort of black magic. I definitely get black magic vibes doing Santeria. Intuitively, you knew someone's pride led them into this dark path. Someone refused your help, refused to listen. And we have the Empress. So this was some sort of spiritual connection, union, partnership. This is the suit, the Empress and the Emperor. But your back is turned to this Emperor. And I feel like this, per this person could be coming towards you. I feel this person was like, they, they were very narcissistic. They were definitely narcissistic and they met their match. So they attracted what they were. They were very like lustful. And someone, because of their their personality, someone did a love spell to keep them bound to them. Because this emperor is someone who does things their way. They're not willing to bend. They're not willing to fold. I feel like with this sword, maybe this emperor realized that they were under some sort of love spell and they may have cut this free. Maybe there was some sort of download. But I feel with this pride energy... You were dealing with a very egotistical, overbearing, pompous ass. And that's what I kept picking up with that energy. And I feel like it was codependent. This person tried to overbear. You know, they tried to rule over you, to control you. This is someone full of pride and ego. You see the lion there, pride. And I feel like with the, you know, with this independent card, I feel like you broke free from this person's control and I feel like a lot of you got out of that mindset that you couldn't you know that you couldn't live without this person you may have also discovered the secrets um, that were hidden pertaining this person and some sort of third party and also the fact that they may have been under some sort of um, spell work because um, there is a level of um, spying evil eyes watching lurking and I do feel this Queen of Wands keeps her eyes on whoever this person was that you were dealing with. And with this, uh, we got the Knight of Wands. What's this? Yeah, the Knight of Wands here. So the Knight of Wands. So that other card must have been the Page of Wands. This is the Knight of Wands. But yeah, the Knight of Wands is definitely showing that someone is... Um, Attempting to change and transform because he's busting out of this snake and snakes shed their skin. So there was some sort of transformation. Someone has had some sort of epiphany with the sun there. So someone realized that someone was doing something, uh, putting some sort of spell work or coming in between a union. Whatever confusion this Knight of Wands was in, I feel like they are freeing themselves, clearing themselves from that. And they have wings. So it's almost as if they are about to free themselves and move away from a situation. And we got last time that I checked playing by Nipsey, Rising Power King, Nipsey Hustle. So last time that this person checked, um, you know, they, they was, there was a snake slithering around. You may have realized someone was a snake. As soon as I said there was a snake slithering around, the devil was underneath that. So this person realized they was dealing with someone who was very toxic. They also may have gotten broken hearted by that person. Because last time that I checked is playing by Nipsey. So they may have got hustled out of something. Maybe out of money. Maybe out of love. Maybe they realized, you know, that um, they checked some information and something was changed. Someone, you know hustled them out of some money maybe somebody took some money out of off of their credit card maybe somebody got a hold of their atm pin number so last time they checked something was ch different but they was dealing with a snake they was dealing with the devil the devil came out twice so there is some some very um toxic energy evil eyes but i am feeling like someone is like changing they're about to take flight and move on leave someone behind so why is um, personal growth guiding children, journey, appreciation, and the five of swords here? Because there was some level of competition. There was some combativeness. There was definitely someone 
who was lying, stealing, cheating, Ten of Pentacles. So someone's money got stolen. Someone got someone got got for some change. Someone got got for some money. Someone was watching. Maybe someone was watching. Someone got drunk. Someone was doing something. They got got for something. I also feel like a lot of you, you have, you know, definitely, you know, you, you've grown from some sort of, you know, relationship that ended a family partnership, a connection. I definitely see that there was, you know, combativeness, competition, a lot of arguing, a lot of fighting. Someone didn't appreciate what you brought to the table. They could have just been with you for the money, for the security, for the stability. And the Six of Pentacles is here. So someone was breadcrumbing you along, giving to this Queen of Wands. We see that here. You see how the hand is just gesturing. Same hand gesture, giving to the Queen of Wands. And you could have been begging, asking for something. And they're like, I don't have nothing to give you. See how he's like, I have nothing. And it's because he's already been giving it away. So you could have been begging and begging for time. You know, and they was giving all of their time, all of their energy, all of their coins. Because last time that I checked, you know, so whoever they was dealing with definitely took some money from them. Maybe they was using them for money. Maybe your person came off as having a lot of money. And that's probably what attracted this karmic to or this, you know, um, yeah, this karmic to the person is because they seem to be well off. And when the money ran out, when the money went low, this is when this person left, cut them off. Because Nipsey hustle. And then last time that I checked, so last time somebody checked the bank account, they was, they was off a couple thousand, off a couple hundred. Because somebody went in there and, and stole their money. Hey, baby girl. Hi. Hi, Katara. Hi. Come up here, say hi to the people. Say hi. Say hi. Yeah, that's my baby. Yep. So Six of Pentacles, just me and you is playing. Hi, girl. Hi, girl. That's my baby. That's the baby girl. Yeah. Hi, honey. Yep. So the Six of Pentacles, someone wishes now that it was just you and them. Someone wishes now that they would have you know, focused on just you and them. The Six of Pentacles shows that you, you all definitely had a very stable home, very good environment, you know, the children. And like I said, you, now you're guiding children because the children were also affected by this breakup, by this ending. This Ten of Pentacles is the end of a family dynamic. Um, I do feel like someone came in between, did some sort of spell work because I do see, uh-uh, don't turn, mm, don't turn this camera off. You know, I do see this ghost here, this ghost energy. And depending on, you know, the cards and, and the reading, you know, because this could also be like, you know, your ancestors bringing a union, conspiring to bring a union together. But this also could be someone who was like a ghost in a partnership, you know, that third party. And she caused the conflict. She caused the, you know, the conflict. She was competing for your person's attention. Your person stopped appreciating you, stopped appreciating what they had. And they started to focus on this one flower instead of paying attention to the whole picture, which was the family dynamic. And so in essence, they lost you. They lost this partnership. You moved away. This duality speaks to you moving on, moving away. From that connection because it did not serve your highest good and so I feel like this led you to growing personally because you discovered your worth and value and I feel like a lot of you have had to help heal your children through this breakup because a lot of them were affected they still have emotional trauma because you know that that other parent isn't in the household you know the child that's all they knew was having both of their children in that household and the song, Just Me and You, it was just you and them, you know, for a long time until someone came in between this partnership and destroyed the sanctity of this relationship. Um, let me see. Let's get some love messages, see what's coming and going out, going on. So divine spirit, let's get a couple of messages, try to pick up the energy. But I do feel that you all chose yourselves, you know, you all chose yourselves intuitively. Someone they couldn't get past. Like whatever they were doing privately, whatever they was doing, sneaking around, sneaking around, you all knew. 
And look at this, trust. Trust was a major part. You didn't trust this person. Many of you still don't trust this person, which is why that, um, you know, that card, which was speaking to um, boundaries. But the trust was broken. The trust was broken in that partnership because someone definitely had a third party. And I feel like, you know, with this empress here and the emperor also showing up, you know, it definitely is suggesting to me that you all um, were in fact, you know, soulmates, you know, maybe kindred spirits. You have a soul tied together and someone came in between because the empress and emperor are a suit and someone definitely came in between this partnership. And I feel like it was, you know, like I said, it, it feels more like that incubus succubus energy. It feels more like someone who uh, got caught up in some sort of love triangle with someone who refuses to let them go. Uh, maybe because your person provides some sort of financial stability. Find spirit of love and light. I ordered some shadow cards so we could pick up more on the shadow energy to see like what's happening behind the scenes because it's good to have the dark entity, you know, that dark energy um, also, you know, so we're going to we're going to be um, incorporating those. I ordered that so they should be coming this week, but it will be very interesting to see the contrast to see exactly what was at play because, you know, the tarot cards only have but so many cards. Um, well, not so many cards. They, it's an equal balance, but it has the cards that communicate to you what took place. But sometimes you need to go a little deeper. And so we have 100% Pure Love by Crystal Waters playing. So someone does love you. There's no denying that, especially with the Emperor and Empress, especially with this King of Pentacles. I do feel like this person, you, that's why the adjacent possibilities, because you're going to have options. You got a Page of Cups coming in. You got the Emperor here. You got the uh, King of Pentacles. You know, someone's definitely wanting to come in. So we have, is it safe to love? Is it safe? Um, it is safe for you to love. So that's what the Divine wanted you to know. That's why they was telling you to be receptive. So it's safe for you to love, open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. And so with receptivity here, that's what the divine is telling you. You got a lot of blessings. You got to trust your intuition because the divine is definitely um, going to send you someone that's 100% pure love, according to crystal waters. And crystal waters, um, you know, that's going to, you know, you're going to be crystal clear, I feel, as to who this person is. Because it's like y'all are going to speak the same love language. They're going to speak your love language. See, attraction. And I feel like you naturally are attracting people because you're now radiating self-love, self-worth, self-value. Because you've grown. Because you've broken belief systems. You've broken free from someone who is overbearing trying to control you. And because you've also been doing the work. You've been putting in a lot of the work. You've been tapping into your spirituality, into your individuality. And this helped you to start trusting your intuition more. And with this attraction, you're attracting people to you. Whatever prayers, petitions you've been sending up into the ethers, the divine is saying, and so it is, so mote it be. And you're attracting 100% pure love according to um, the divine. See, what was I saying about you being in a codependent relationship? So this is what you needed to break free from. Y'all was in a codependent relationship. Someone could have had addictions, sexual or otherwise. This is probably what got them stuck with this Queen of Wands because Queen of Wands is very passionate. Queen of Wands can be someone who's very like, she wants things her way. She's not going to give up. She's not going to let go. And so someone was dealing with someone who has some sort of like codependency. The devil is you know, very dark energy dealing in that shadow side. And you also had this energy here with the attachments and then the queen of wands. So codependent. So that's what the attachments are. When you're trapped in the mind state or trapped in the illusion that you can't live without something. I feel like the more lighter your energy became, the more you started to be playful or the more you begin to be playful, the more you start to be open and accepting of what's coming in. The more you're going to attract what you desire. That low, you know, that, that high, excuse me, 
that high energy of love, excitement, joy. And it's going to be 100%. It's going to be real. It's going to be authentic. Divine spirit of love and light. Y'all have learned a lot too. And with this, all of these cards, you're, you're, you're intuitively going to know someone is your person. And it has pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. So that's what you all started to do with this intuition, endings and beginnings, attachments, and the Queen of Wands and the Six of Pentacles, uh, Knight of Pentacles, where someone's kind of just breadcrumbing and taking their time. That's what you did. You was in a codependent. This is the same energy right here. Look at this. The signs are cautioning you. This is this energy. And we have I Can Change playing by um, John Legend featuring Snoop Dogg. So this is the energy here. So this is the, you know, pay attention to the signs. And addictions are affecting this. So, you know, when you're addicted to something, you know, it, 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 it has a grip on you, a hold on you. It's attached. It's attachments. You know? And so that's what you was dealing with. You was dealing with someone that definitely had some sort of, you know, codependency and energy. And then you have make the effort on the bottom of the deck. And then we got I can change. So, you know, someone is going to be coming in saying I can change. And the divine is saying for some of you, not all of you, some of you can make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So if some of you feel guided, if some of you feel inclined to give someone a second chance, then go ahead and do it. But the divine is saying it is safe for you to love. For some of you, this could be new love or this could be a past love. But um, someone is saying that they can change. Many of you are calling in your soulmate. Many of you were having difficulties in a partnership because of your religious beliefs, you know. And that spirituality card was showing up as well. So there was some conflicts. But you have chemistry with someone. There's a deep chemistry, a synergy. And there is a lot of love between you and that person. And I feel like that's the person that the divine is wanting you to wait for. That's the person that's meant for you. And that's the person that you have this beautiful, um, unconditional love. And you will be able to trust that person. You will be able to trust the connection. Okay? So that's your reading. This is a long one. This is a deep dive. But I do want to thank you all for tuning and tapping in to Higher Frequencies Portal, First Star Vision. If you will, please be kind. Hit the like, the share, the subscribe. Definitely hit the bell notification so that you know whenever I upload. Until next time, beautiful, beautiful soul family. Thank you so much. Ashe.